Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I've been having a little play today. Um, I have got some little strips of paper here, which I have already cut up for some reason. I don't know what I was using them for, but I have made some little pouches. Now they're like sort of like little, it's not really a pouch, it's sort of like a little ephemera pocket. Um, and I think they're really, really cute. So it's just made of a piece of paper that big. So it's just like an A4 sheet. Um, cut down into four pieces um, and they are really really cute um, so I've just tied it together with a little bit of seam, seam binding on this one so that's the closure they open up and pull down and it's just got a little pocket and you've got some lovely bits of ephemera now these are great for a little bit of happy mail I think to send in the post it's really nice and flat really nice and small and it's got a little closure here which goes through so you don't see the um, seam binding or ribbon or whatever you using for your closure um, at the back so it just goes all the way through so I shall show you how to do that um, so then we just tie it in a little bow just to tie it together if I can all fingers and thumbs there we go nice little bow so that's the little pink butterfly this one I've used from um, the Friday freebie it's either 11 or 12 Friday freebie I think um, so I've used that I've used some of the button that I had from um, making some little button cards last week so it just opens up that pulls down and then you've got a little pocket just to pop a little bit of ephemera into so it's really simple and so quick and easy to do which we do like don't we so um, tie that up in a little bow so again you can use whatever you've got for the closure like ribbon or lace or whatever this is a little blue one little blue butterfly and that just comes down like that and it says love every day and I've just got some little circle bits of ephemera in there and I've just scrunched up I just I sewed this one actually um, which is quite nice but you don't have to I just wanted to see what it looked like to be sewn on so you don't have to it's quite simple to make without sewing it just a little bit of glue let's just do that up and then we've got this one here which is just made out of some of my backing papers a little bit of um, coffee stained seam binding oops if I can undo it and then it just comes down like that um, one of my little um, words and phrases on there and some lovely little bits of ephemera so if you've got a nice little um, bit of happy mail to make I think these are really really pretty and so so simple okay so let us do this up and I will show you how simple they are great one for making lots of um, stash as well so I'm going to pop those up there so let's make a pink one or oh, shall we have this one now this one I've got some paper which I've already um, it's got printing on the back as well so that's double sided this one is white on the back um, and so are the rest of those so this piece of paper is just over eight inches long and just under three inches wide okay but again you can make it whatever size you like and what we want to do is just fold it in half like that so the pattern piece is on the inside so um, that will be your front of your cover and then what we want to do is just fold this back now I folded it sort of just under halfway so it's not quite full so it's just it depends how big you want your pocket okay so just fold that back on each other like that and that goes down like that so that's the shape so you've got a W okay so pick whichever you want as the front um, so I'm going to have the butterflies now what I'm going to do I'm just going to round the edges because I like little round edges like that and now I'm going to just ink it just a little bit again optional whatever you would like to do Oops, get bits of fluff everywhere 
just a little bit on there just to take that white that whiteness off it but again if you've printed it onto tea stain paper then this wouldn't matter just like that and then you fold it back up again now what we want to do we want to make the pocket you just want to glue this piece just down these sections onto the back piece like that okay so that's what we're going to do first just glue this little bit down like that now I have to put the lid on because it is so hot here at the moment this glue is just drying up really really quickly so I've just glued down those two sides and then we just want to stick that down so that will come up so these pieces stuck down like that now to make the closure I popped the ribbon through this piece here and then just glued the bottom piece and then like that so it just sticks down so what shall we have so we've got the pink butterfly I've got all sorts of bits of lovely ribbon so I might actually have a piece of this like that that would look really pretty wouldn't it so you want roughly probably I would say maybe 15 to 18 inches so let's just cut that off like that and I'm going to pop that in first tie it up make sure we've got enough tie a little knot or not a knot tie a little bow like that perfect so you've got a lovely little bow and then what we want to do is glue this bottom piece so we need a piece of a piece of glue a little line of glue along the bottom here like that just so the ribbon doesn't come out so that just sticks down Oops. okay so then that won't come up so if we untie that open it up this piece of ribbon just goes all the way through and you can't see in the back so I think that's a nice little um, closure there which is lovely and then what we need to do I've got a couple of little um, bits of ephemera here from one of my kits I think that's the um, a touch of lace kit I think so just pop those in the pocket I have a little piece here this is the ephemera from the pig pink butterfly collection I'm just going to stick that on the front of that pocket so I've got a little bit of cheesecloth which we can just oops scrunch up a little bit so it can be pop through like this so these are nice as well because we like using up all our little bits of scrap don't we so let's just stick this bit down with just a little bit of glue stick that and then that can just stick over the top and we'll use this with a little bit of a fabric tack on here and pop that on there so that looks really cute and that's how simple they are to make so you can pop whatever you like in there if you're making a journal and you've got some little embellishments left this is a great way to, to pop them into your journal as well in a little pouch and then we can just tie that up and then we can just decorate the front a little bit oops like that so you've got lovely pretty and then it doesn't matter where your bow is because it will move about like that so tie that up so that looks really pretty and what we need on the front we could put another little butterfly look at my little butterflies on in here have a nice bright pink one let me just curl the wings a little bit and that can sit on there a little bit of cheesecloth on here wrinkle that up and I think that looks really really pretty 
Oops, let me just put my lid on here because that glue will not come out otherwise. I want to cover up the other little butterfly, but that can go on there. A little bit of fabric tack on the back of this little butterfly. You can stick it on there. Like that. Oops, stay down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop a little bit of stickles on the wings as a little bit of shining because I think it looks really pretty just on the edges like that just to finish it off and there we go we have another little pocket there which I think is really really pretty so that's how simple they are so we've got lots here and I think they're really really pretty I'll show you again how it's done so this one I'm going to make out of the blue butterfly collection. Let's have it so we've got some butterflies at the top. Let's have this one here, shall we? So what we want to do is fold it in half like that. Oops. And then we want to just fold it back on itself. But so you want to just under halfway. Okay, so just sort of like fold it there back on itself, turn it over and do the same like that you can have the pocket a little bit smaller if you want to do but it's making it because it's, it's got to be sort of almost halfway to tie it so it stays closed so this doesn't flap open too much um, so that's on there let's get the little corner punch Now because this has got pattern inside, it doesn't really need to um, be inked up. So I think I'm going to just leave that like that. Now I've got a few little bits in here which we can use. Now I'm just going to pop something like that on because I think that looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's glue this together. Glue these. You can use these. If you've got any scrap paper, you can make them in all sorts of different sizes um, and out of scrap pieces of paper but this just sticks down and nicely like that oops and then we want a little bit of a ribbon or something what should we have I think I'll just pop a little bit of yeah, that's quite big enough a little bit of seam binding in here Right, and we'll tidy that up in the middle in a minute in a minute I mean pop a little bit of glue down there and stick that down okay. so once you get going these are really really quick and then we can pop a little bit of cheesecloth in here let's have this open weaved one a bit oops I just cut my fingernail off there that wasn't wasn't very clever was it okay a little bit of glue stick that down and I'm going to pop that over the top I think with a little bit of the fabric tack some little bits of ephemera that we can pop in here look little water lily there little flowery cards and little blue one I think they're lovely so that's up that will just stick down not stick down we'll fold that down and then we will just tie this into a little bow like that which I think looks lovely Oops, a bit of too much glue, 
so that's that so I think that's lovely and then I've got another big big butterfly just to pop on there now I was just thinking as well you could probably pop a little bit of lace or something in there I think I'm just going to stick him straight down just without any cheesecloth or anything I'm going to just pop him which way should we have you going that way like that look at that doesn't that look so so pretty I'd love to get something like that in happy mail it would be really really lovely so pretty now what I wanted to try actually let me just do that again take another piece let's fold this up put this down this way Okay, that could be the front. Let me just round the edges off. Now what I wanted to do is actually pop a little bit of lace or something. Maybe I could just have a little bit of scruffy of this coming through the bottom. That's the nice sort of this down just so it sort of sticks out to the bottom like that I think that would look quite nice wouldn't it let's try that let's put that up like this a little bit of glue So it sticks on there. And so I'm going to ronkle it up just a little bit. Perfect. Now I need to have another piece of seam binding to go through here. So let's just see. Let's have, say, that much. Pop that through. I'm going to glue this edge to glue it down, I think. glue that down there that looks nice doesn't it I like that hanging out the bottom like sandwiched in between and then that will just tie up like normal that would look really nice but you can put lace and all sorts of bits and pieces on there in between couldn't you so let's just stick these bits down Squash it down. What have I got? I can put that in there for the ephemera. Now let's get another little word. See what we've got in here. My, just this one in here, I think. Pop those bits out of the way. A little bit of cheesecloth. Make sure I don't cut my finger now this time. I use lots of different, well I don't use lots of different glues, I use three different glues mainly which is the glue stick for sticking down paper to paper and also the um, cheesecloth onto paper because I find that sticks it down really well um, and then I use some Fabri-Tac or three in one to stick onto fabric so if I'm sticking paper onto like the bits of fabric or the cheesecloth and I will use that um, and then I also use the, the tacky glue um, for paper to paper as well just so it's because it's got the little spout on it it's nice to just be able to sort of stick these little edges down so that looks nice doesn't it perfect I can just do up like that 
And then we've got another little blow. Let's pop another little butterfly. And what have we got? We need a little diddy diddy one, I think, on here. What have we got in the bottom? Little one here. Let's just stick you down. Pop you like that. Perfect. On then. Oopsie daisy. Stay on. going to stay there are you and then what I need to do is a little bit of stickles if he's going to stay put just on the wings perfect and I think they are lovely my bow is not very level there is it let's try again gosh I'm not very good at doing bows today work there we go that's a little bit better isn't it there we go pop all those bits out of the way and these are all are lovely little ephemera pockets and I think they are so so pretty so we've got lots and I love my butterflies as you can tell so these are the nice ones so again go and get your Friday freebie because that's from the Friday freebie um, especially if you're doing a sewing journal um, and that's just one from my backing papers but I'll list all the ones that I've used on here anyway so there we go guys I hope you enjoy that I hope you give it a go quick easy little project use up some of your scraps um, and have a lovely time crafting all right guys thank you so so much for joining me take care enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you all soon all right guys bye bye